Hi, it's Lock Noob, and I've been picking locks for a while now, and I want to try to teach you how to pick a real lock. Now, you might have been playing around with practice locks. There's nothing wrong with that, but we're not talking about that for now. Now, what you might want to pick are locks like this. These are not good locks to start on. The ones in front of you now, you don't want to be touching. What you want to get are these. Yep. You'll see them around. These are called laminated padlocks. They are usually very cheap and they're usually four or five pins. And more importantly, most of the time, those pins are nothing special. They have no what we call security pins in there to make your life difficult. Also look for keys which don't have too much in the way of extreme up and down. That will cause you problems when you're first starting to learn. If you want to know how many pins the lock has, just count the number of cuts in the key. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Four's good. Five if you have to. What you don't want is this. Weird, no brand, badly made locks from unknown countries. Um, you usually find that these are so unpredictable and often so badly made that whilst they should be easy to pick, or often hard. So now we've got the lock, what do we need next? We need some picking tools. So where do you start? Well, let's not worry about all of these. Yeah, you can get silly, you can buy a load of kit. What you really need is some hooks, some city rakes, and a couple of snake rakes. Now you can buy these from any number of places and, and from any number of manufacturers. The truth is, you just need to get some good quality ones to begin with. When you get more confident with picking, you can afford to buy cheaper picks and ones from um, brands that you might not have heard of. But for now, try and get something from Sparrows, Peterson or Southord. That's my tip. These are short hooks, these are city rakes, those are snake rakes. If you get one of each one of those, you're going to be able to pick a lot of locks. So what do you need next? You need tension tools. What does a tension tool do? Well, it provides a turning force on the lock where we don't use a key and we're picking it. It goes in and you basically just turn it until it provides tension to the lock, turning force. Which ones you need? Well, the truth is you need the one which will fit your lock. They come in four main types I'd say. Standard L wrench, twisted L wrench. This is so that it provides a little bit more flex around that joint. A Z wrench, which is basically a double ended tension tool and a pry bar, which is often used for something called top of the keyway picking, which we won't worry about today. It's probably more important that you have a range of tension tools than it is a range of picks right now. You just need something which will fit the lock. We have a cheap lock. We have a tension wrench. What tool should we use first? I would say the city rake. This is a great tool. This is not a saw. You're not supposed to be sawing back and forwards on those pins. This is purely used to rock. Rocking is where you add tension to the core, just like this. That's a little bit of tension, too much tension. A little bit of tension, too much tension. You're just holding it just enough so that the core is obviously turned and it stops naturally. Put your city rake in, and all you need to do then is move it back and forth, up and down, and that's it. Don't do that. You might get an open, but you might also hurt the pins in the lock. Now and again, just move the uh, tension tool off tension and just pulse it like this, and you will get an open. Now let's move on to another technique. This is a snake rake. 
you'll see that this is rounded, that's okay. That means that you can move it across the pins. All we need to do again, there's a raking technique, tension tool in, turn until it stops naturally. Don't put any more pressure on. Look at my finger, it's not turned white. It's not like this, okay? Gentle, gentle. Put it in, and what we're going to do is move it in and out of the lock, different depths, and don't forget, pulse the tension here, just like this, every now and again to free up those pins. And we have an open. And now for our last technique, single pin picking. For this, you will need a hook. I would suggest a short hook like this. A short hook is one which only has a small hook on the end. There are hooks of different depths, some of which are deeper and longer. You don't need those for now. The first technique to do is put no tension in, put the hook in, put it right to the back of the lock and push up until it stops. Now pull it forward slowly and listen to the pins. One, two, three, four. This is a four pin lock. It's what I recommend you start on. And this little mass lock number three is a really good starting lock. Keep practicing over and over, listening out for those pins and getting a feel for how they are when you push up on each pin with your hook. You should feel a slight spring. When we go on to picking the lock, we will add some tension and the core will turn until the driver pins at the top of the lock are bound between the inside of the lock and the core. We will then need to push them up until they go into the core. If you listen out very carefully, when they set, you should hear a small click. The trick with th these locks, not too much tension. Again, just enough to hold the tension tool in place and put some tension on the core. Any more than that, you're going to damage your pick, you might even damage a lock, and your tension tool. So, let's put some tension on, we go back in. Now just feel the pins as you gently move the pick back. You should feel that some of them don't feel springy. Pin 1 feels springy, but pin 4 doesn't. Gently then push up on the pins which feel sticky. Don't worry right now about which ones are bound and, or what number it is. If it feels like it's stuck, gently push it. Got a click. Got another click, got another click, I go back in and feel for any pins which feel hard and stuck, feel like they've been trapped and gently lift them. Once we've picked all of those pins, you should be able to turn the lock open. So good luck. Like all things, all you need is a bit of practice. Find the right locks, find the right tools, practice, 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 and you'll soon be opening many, many, many locks. So good luck, have fun, and I'll see you next time.